what's happening? What's happening? Uh, YouTube. <clears throat> Just I haven't made a video in a while. But uh just a little something something man just to kind of get everybody up to speed and also just kind of speaking from my mind and heart man as I stand in front of a uh, stand in front of my job man as I'm getting ready to clock in Smoke me a cigarette. Oh yeah, I smoke cigarettes. Oh, you know, but uh, yeah, man, a lot of you got a lot of folk, man. You know, you got a lot of relationship advice. You know, there's a couple brothers, as I as I mentioned a lot in my videos, brothers like Ringo, New Breed. <coughs> My homie Rollo coming up in the ranks, you know. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get things popping on my, uh, on my channel. You know, just gotta get more consistent with content. But let me get to my point. You got a lot of cats out here, man. Uh, got all this relationship advice. You know, where they. Whether it be from a monogamous viewpoint or brothers like me from a polygamous viewpoint. <sighs> what I realized, man, for the most part, this the this the best relationship advice I can think of, man. It's just because just to be real, man, nobody, nobody that, you know. <laughs> You know, that is born in the image of God has all the answers. That's right? You know, let's get that. Let's get that. Uh, let's get that under. Let's get to get that under. Uh, let's, uh, let's take. Let's take that. Let's take that point. Nobody. Nobody. That is. That is. That is born a woman has all the answers. We're all imperfect. We all fall short. Including me. Right. So that being said, when we talk about trying to build and, you know, like I said again, whether, whether you decide you want to build monogamously, which, like I said, I highly discourage, or you're trying to build from a polygamous standpoint, you have to, you have to, you have to know. You have to know yourself. You have to know what's going to work best for you. And, you know, just be open and honest and as forthright as possible. You know, you can't be, you can't be, as a man, you can't be going around sugarcoating shit with your women. If you, if you're polygamous. Excuse me. Oh hell, even if you're monogamous, you can't be going around the street. Even if you even even if you currently only have one woman, you have to you have to let it be known that there's always a possibility that you're gonna wanna build with more than one woman. So that way it eliminates that. Ooh, nigga, I caught you. Uh, or, uh, I saw this in your phone. Who is that? You know, because you've, you've already, you've already let it be known and you've communicated to her what it is to you. You know, just like Akon was telling, uh, just like Akon was telling Nori when he was talking about his situation with his gun wife. As men, you have, we have to, we have to we have to be intentional, let our intentions know, be known, and communicate to women what it is to us. You know, because if we be men and we let women know what it is from Jump Street, then 
she gets to decide if that's something that she wants to be part of. And if that's, if that's something that she wants to be part of, fine. If not, then, you know, that's fine too. You know, women, women outnumber men on average, on average five to one. In some, in some lands, it could be, it can be, fifteen to one, up to thirty to one. So, my encouragement to men is basically, man, just stop fronting. Be who you are. You know, if you're the type of brother that that is awakened, and you know that there's nothing from a spiritual standpoint wrong with building with more than one woman then and that's something that you want to do then you do that you know but you know if that's that's not what you want to do as a man you want you want to live monogamously then you do that too i'm that's you know i'm not i'm not the most high yahuwah it's not, i'm i'm not in a position to judge you you know but one thing we got to stop doing is man we got to stop running Yeah, we in 2022, man. So, and we ain't got we ain't got time to be <laughs> having one itis. You know, all this simpery. You know, being Mister Try Hard. Now, if you got now if you got a woman that you know for a fact is your official woman. That's different. If she your woman, and you know that's your woman, and you know she ain't dealing with no other brothers, that's some different shit. But if you, but if, but if you in the beginning stages, and y'all just getting to know one another, if you thinking all that extra try hard shit is gonna, it's gonna put you in a position that's gonna make her want you more than all these other eight, nine, ten, or however many different dudes she talking to and may even be dealing with sexually. It's not. Women women know when they first look at you within within the first two or three seconds, whether or not you the type of brother that she gonna deal with or not. And you know what I mean when I say deal with. She knows she gonna she know if you can get it. She can look at you and tell, oh yeah, he can get it. If, if that ain't the look she giving you when she first see you, then, or when you, when y'all first start communicating and she give you the one around, you know what to do, you got dead that. But, uh, I'm finna finish, I'm finna finish this cigarette. I'm finna get ready to get on this clock. You know, but before I get on this clock, I'm gonna listen to me some music. Cause that's my little ritual I do. Before I get on this clock, y'all have y'all a wonderful day out here in these YouTube streets. Peace.